Okay, before we start the video, um, I'm sorry, but I kind of sound like a robot the whole entire video. I don't know why. I just am. It's annoying. I literally sound like a transformer. But please do not kill me for that. And enjoy the video. Alright, hello everybody. It's not a progression update. It's actually weirdly a tutorial. Um... I have two reasons for making this tutorial. First of all, early game and auction flipping. I I am kind of a noob at Hyperx of Skyblock. I, I didn't know how to make money, and my best money making method was grinding results. And let me trust you that is bad. Do not do it. It's terrible. I hate it. Um, auction flipping just saved me from all these deaths. It, it was just like the best thing I could do. But how do I share my knowledge with you guys? I and all these early game players. Auction flipping isn't severely underrated. However, what's the problem is that, that a lot of people know about it, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. And it's because a lot of the auction flipping that people like to go through are the ones that actually require a brain. It, the ones I do don't require a brain and they're very easy to do. So. There is going to be craft flipping, alright? So, craft flipping, very simple. It's just going to be buying materials from the bazaar or maybe the auction house, craft it, and then boom, sell it, and then wait for someone to buy it, and then you earn profit. That's basically the, ba that's the, basically the base of flipping, basically the premises. But there's a few problems that come to that. YouTubers don't explain what you actually have to flip. They they force you to just just go YOLO and just try out everything. Now, first of all, that's a bit too much work. And second of all, there's no really going back. If you actually buy something from like the auction house or the bazaar, you're gonna be taxed on it, and then when you try to sell it back, you're just losing coin for this experimenting. So I'll be showing you guys how to actually do your flips correctly, and how to like you know um, do some good stuff with that. So, so, there's a few steps that you're going to want to complete before you get into this. First of all, you want to have coin. Now, as it turns out how much coin you need, about maybe over like something over than like 3 million. Now, that seems kind of a high price tag. Well, if you just get a rock pet, sell it for 12 million, million which just me, is not that long. It's the easiest process of my life. You could basically do it semi AFK okay, with a cobblestone generator. So the George, 12 million for the legendary rock pet. Very, very simple. And you and really three million is really not that hard to come by because you can you can just you can get it by basically any other money making method. Or you can sell your current gear for for an investment, because trust me, auction flipping is so really underrated. You have to trust me, it's just so good. But other than that, just make sure you just have like at least three mil. That's what I started off with when I made this much. Because remember, the richer get richer when it comes to auction flipping. The more auctions you get, the more you put, the more you will get back in money. And it's just really, really good. Anywho, after you get that, you're going to want to find an item. Now, you're probably going to say, oh, I'm just going to go to the auction house, find something that looks a bit overpriced, and then flip it. No, that that yeah, that never works. That like has like a 1% chance of working because this thing is poop. I hate it. I just, no, okay? No, I hate doing that. That's too much work. So I'll be showing you guys a website that basically does all of that for you. It's not a sponsor or anything. It's just it's just a really nice website that not a lot of people know about or actually know how to use for that matter. So I'll link it down in the description, but it's basically called Skyblock Auction House. So I'll change my thing right over here. So we have this. So it's like that. So when you type in this URL, it should be in the description, as I said. You need to be redirected to this home screen, Skyblock Age History. Ignore everything, just go to the sidebar, click this proper craft section. This will show you all the crafts that you could do to earn profit. So, before you do anything, listen to these instructions. First, everything is sorted by profit. The topmost ones are the most profit. The ones you get lower have the least profit. Second, 
when you try to find something that you want to flip, like look at this super soulful, super soul. Wow, that is a six million ish coin margin. That is really nice. Look at this though. Required slayer. It might also say required collection. That that means that you're gonna have to have, at least have this requirement of E Man Seven, which obviously is Void Gloom, Seraph, Level Seven, and Slayer to actually grab this item. So do please read this because I made countless mistakes of flipping things that have a requirement and I just wasted a bunch of money. So you basically want to get stuff that says no collections on Slayer required. You're basically gonna want things that have that. So I think a good example could be scrolling back to the bottom. Even though it is less profit, the prices are usually more stable. So that's a bit what it, that's a bit that's what it is. So we should go over here and we should do ah look at this right here. Bat person top bat person here. There's no collection requirement. Has a decent price, 300k. It's not that good, but it could be bad. But it's just because of the spooky hasn't had been happening yet. So, look, so we'll see all this. These are the ingredients and how, how much they cost. Now, before you do anything, che check if things on the bazaar are the auction house. Easy enough, just. Go to the bazaar, search of this, or if you already know it's an item, it's fine. You don't want to pay attention to the ones that actually have this, like, auction house thing. Like, right here. Bat person talisman. Look, this is an auctionable item. Please be careful with this, as if yeah, I go and switch my thing again. If I go to bat person, there is a chance that that is not the actual price. Not the lowest price, but accessories. Look at this. 375k. That is definitely not correct. Definitely not. That's a big no-no. Usually the flips are usually created by auctions that have underbid so really in price. Like you see, maybe deals wither gear. No, the wither gear is not actually profitable. Someone was an idiot and put but like a, a with an armor piece probably for like a million coins by mistake. So the so the so the little so the little website will think, oh, this is a profitable flip because now the prices are one mil. It's actually not. So please double check the auction house before you buy anything. Just make sure just make sure your what you're buying matches to the price. If it's less than the price that it lists, then well it's more profit. So but if it's more, then it's probably not worth it. Especially in this case, 100k more, it's only like 200k, so it's not that worth it. I th let's go scroll a bit up. I think something more better is going to be this thing. Yeah, I think this Dragon Fade Cloak would work the best. Or maybe something like this Deep Terror Mixing. I think we'll do this Deep Terror Mixing. It has a bit less profit and it's a bit easier to craft. Now, all these are on the Bazaar. If you just search it up, it should be on the Bazaar. And this is how you would craft it. So I don't think there's any um, requirements. I think we could craft it. So, easy enough. Just do what it says. So this is so this is 64 Mitra. We'll buy it. Boop. And then one ritual recipe. Okay. As you can see, the bizarre prices that it lists on there are extremely accurate. So don't worry about messing those up that much. Like you can see, this had one. Like that, this had like almost the same exact price, so you won't expect anything. And then here's all the quick crafting, but in case you didn't, in case you want to actually try the recipe, boom, bam, there we go. Deep terror mixing. Now you're gonna want to go to the auction house. Want to deep terror? Sorry for my misspelling. See, look at this. Let's, and if we check the prices. Look at this, 2.3 million. That is, that is the the price that is lower than the price. That's actually what it's going for. So the auction did make a little mistake, but in in favor, it gets you more profit. So if I were to just create an auction, um, right here, we'll put it for 2.4 mil. 
and then wait for this uh, file to happen to sell here. That's basically it. Now, that's basically it for the boot for the craft weapon. Uh, it's basically the video is basically done over here, but I will I will teach you some tips and tricks on how to actually make a lot of profit it using these flips. So, trip. So basically, trick number one. Before you're you're flipping anything, just how you have to check the ingredients, check the actual thing so the prices aren't weird from the thing that it says. Like this says two point four, and I'm pretty sure the website says it says two two it says two point three. So the website is not always accurate. It just it just tries to tell you like a like a like a median of like where it is. So please check it as the prices can change, especially if it's been a flip for quite a long time on the on the website. Second tip, um, try to my recommended full profit margins are going to be two million and lower. Anything over that is going to be very unstable, and probably no one's going to buy it. As you can see by this, this yet yeah, this all skills exp super boost that no one has bought yet. Is was about like a five mil flip at the time that I got it, and now it's worth like it's and now it's just lowering in price and no one's actually buying because no one actually uses it. That's the thing. That's also something you should worry about. Um, if no one actually uses the thing that you're flipping, then there's no reason to actually flip it. Things like that and and like very useless weapons that no one would probably use. You probably shouldn't flip. Um, things like accessories are definitely more worth it because people buy accessories for MP, easy. So yeah, that's, that's basically that. And that's basically, that's basically all you need to know about craft flipping. Very simple money making method, very simple to get into. All you need is that website and some cash. And you're going to be looking pretty good in the profit margin. As you can see, you're going to end up like being just about like maybe a month of flipping, which is really nice with her doing for doing like a money like that requires like a little effort as possible if you guys do enjoy this tutorial and want to see more of these type of things from coming from me you please hit that like button and subscribe because it really helps it, it really helps this very similar channel grow more and yeah uh peace out okay yeah past edit me i I think my microphone is having a problem. I don't know why it's not clear. And it's, I, I don't know why it's different from the last video that I posted. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But now, now my settings are weird. Hopefully this is, turns out better. But, um, I'm trying to make an outro. So this is basically my outro because I am terribly sorry for, for making myself sound like a robot the entire video. So it doesn't look any professional. So, uh, yeah, uh, peace out too, I guess. <laughs> Enjoy.